when your mobile users click on a web link, how can you make sure they are taken into your app? We've heard this question a lot. You have a great app, you invested time and resources to build it, and it provides a great experience for your users. Now you would like to ensure your mobile users benefit from this great app experience. How? All you need to do is implement deep links. My name is Ron Moore, and I'm a product manager on Google Ads. Today, I'll quickly discuss the benefits of implementing deep links in your app and present a new iOS validation tool we're launching in Google Ads. And I'm Lydia Gaymond, a product manager on Google Play. After Ren's introduction, I'll walk you through the new deep links management tools in Google Play Console. So let's get started. As a quick refresher, deep links are links that open an app and send users to a specific piece of content or action inside that app. Deep links have many benefits. First, apps usually have a much smoother user experience than mobile websites. If you want to provide the optimal experience for users, it's better to lead them into your app. Second, deep links allow you to drive more traffic into your app. They can be used in multiple use cases, such as marketing, emails, and SMS. And more traffic to your app means more in-app purchases, checkouts, and conversions. Third, with deep links, you can include targeted URL parameters to create a personalized app experience. Remember, users tend to delete apps that don't make it easy for them to complete their goals, whether it's interacting with other users, verifying some data, or adding the right items to the cart. With deep links, you can pass all the information your app needs to help your users accomplish their goals with minimal effort. And last but not least, deep links drive long-term engagement and boost the return on investment you get from your app. We've seen that on average, companies who have implemented deep linking are seeing over two times uplift in conversion rate. So the return on investment is much higher for both you and your users. Implementing deep links involves two main steps. First, in your app's manifest file, you need to create intent filters that define what URLs your app can open, and then you need to add logic to launch the right content in the respective activity. Second, on your website, you need to upload a JSON file that proves you're the owner of the domains you've declared in your app. For more details on how to implement deep links, you can take the deep links crash course, which we've added the link to in the description of this video. To help you with prioritization, implementation, and validation of deep links, today we are announcing the launch of new tools in Google Play Console and in Google Ads. Over to you, Lydia, to talk about the new deep links management tools that we are introducing in Play Console. Thanks, Ran. Last summer, we launched a new page in Play Console dedicated to deep links. To access it, simply log into Play Console and use the navigation menu to find deep links in the Grow section. You can view your full deep link setup per app version. This is available for active versions in any track. If you go to the deep links page now, you'd see a few main sections. The domains section gives you an overview of all the domains and subdomains you have declared for your app manifest, alongside their verification status. It helps you make sure Android is able to associate your website URLs with your app creating app links. The web links section shows you your web link setup, as is defined in your app's manifest, including path, domain, and activity details. Each of these can be further examined by selecting the blue arrow. The same view is also available for your custom schemes, if you have any. Note that all tables on the page are searchable and sortable. Search goes through the full inventory of path, domain, and custom schemes. Sorting sorts the currently loaded data. Search can be used, for example, to understand which intent filters, path, will be responsible for handling a URL pasted on the search bar. We know that identifying issues with your setup is not always easy and may require significant investment. To make it easier for you to spot issues, we verify your setup per each individual app version and highlight potential issues requiring a fix. It could be a domain failing verification, broken links, or outdated custom schemes. The summary of your setup issues would be highlighted at the top of the deep links page and throughout for you to take action. To make troubleshooting easier, you can examine each individual issue in more detail by selecting Show More, which gives you contextual guidance on how it can be fixed. In this example, the domain ownership is failing verification. This means that until the issue is addressed, all the traffic going to this domain will resolve on the web. To fix it, 
you'd need to update and publish your Digital Asset Links JSON file with some additional missing information. We highlight the missing information for you, and all you need to do is copy and paste the code snippet, update the file, and publish it to the location suggested. The generator will take into account what is already on your domain, so it's perfectly safe to take all the contents and paste as is, or download the file. We already see many developers using the step-by-step -step guidance, dramatically improving user outcomes as a result. And once you fix the issue, you can use Play Console to verify that the deep links are working correctly again. Today, we're also sharing V2 of the deep links page that will be coming to Play Console soon. The new version gives you more context and confidence in managing your deep link setup. We're adding a few things. First, Add Traffic View lets you see all the landing pages from your advertising campaigns and their deep link status. To view this, all you'd need to do is to link your AdWords account to your Play Console account. Second, web crawl URLs will allow you to review top performing URLs and identify missed opportunities when it comes to your deep links coverage. And finally, we're introducing a new metric called User Outcome, which shows you what percentage of your users land in your app versus the web. All this new information will be added to the new Web URLs tab in the Deep Links page in Play Console. Ad Traffic allows you to see each landing page from your ad campaigns, associated clicks, user outcome, and deep linking status. In this section, we help you identify missed opportunities, highlighting the URLs for your ad campaigns that you might want to consider deep linking to improve customer experience and drive bigger business impact. The Web Crawl URLs section helps you understand the deep linking status of your top performing web URLs so that you can prioritize which URLs to deep link next. We're introducing two new metrics to help you understand how comprehensive your deep link setup is. The first metric is called user outcome. The user outcome percentage shows you how many of your users are being directed to your app versus the web. Additionally, you can now see your deep links coverage, an aggregated number showing what percentage of your top web URLs are deep linked. To help you validate your deep links, we're also adding a simple way to compare your app versus your web experience to a given URL side by side. We hope that these new tools will make it easier for you to add deep links and keep your deep links setup up to date in order to provide better experience for your users and to help you achieve your business objectives. Now, over to Yuran to talk about the new tools Google Ads are introducing today. Thanks, Lydia. To make it easier to validate iOS deep links, we're launching a new validation tool in Google AdWords that performs a series of checks and provides recommendations that will help you fix any misconfigured links in your iOS app. To get to the tool in AdWords, you click on Tools and Settings and then on the App Advertising Hub under Planning. To start the validation, you need to choose iOS as a platform, select your iOS app, and enter the link you want to validate. The tool performs a set of checks based on the link you entered and the Apple App Site Association file that you publish in your domain. This file is similar to the JSON file you uploaded for Android. You then get information for each check the tool performed, and if failed, you can get detailed instructions on how to fix the issue. If all the checks on the Apple App Site Association file passed, you can scan a QR code and check whether you're taken to the right page in your app. Testing the QR code requires the app to be installed on a device you're testing with. Many companies have been benefiting from extensive use of deep links, and today we wanted to share a few examples of how the use of deep links can dramatically improve your business performance. Boost, a fashion retailer, noticed that many of its customers started their journeys on the web and finalized their purchases in the app, and decided to make its app a larger part of its overall business strategy. Using Web to App Connect, Google's one-stop solution for in-app conversion measurement, bidding, and deep links, Boost implemented deep links to create a seamless Web to App experience and saw great results. A 4.5 times higher conversion rate, 55% lower cost per acquisition, and two times higher average order value on the app compared to the mobile web. Fashion retailer Boohoo also recognized that the most valuable customers are its mobile app users. Boohoo also used Web to App Connect to implement deep links to direct customers to their mobile app, and they witnessed strong results. 
Boho achieved a 25% increase in revenue, a 5.5 times higher conversion rate compared to web, a 33% higher return on ad spend, and an 8% increase in net conversion volume. So to summarize, we recommend you to use DeepLinks for a better user experience and engagement with your app. Generally, the more DeepLinks you have in your app, the richer the user experience is. To help you improve DeepLink setup, use the new Google Ads iOS validator and the DeepLink management tools in Play Console to identify new opportunities, fix misconfigured links in your app, and drive higher business impact. That's it for today. We are excited to bring these new tools to our developer community and look forward to seeing what you can achieve with them.